Welcome to my bookshelves. Another year has passed, so of course, it is time to share with you my updated bookshelf tour. Over the year, my shelves have changed quite a bit, mainly because I got a new bookshelf. It's not in my room, it is outside my room, alongside a couple of floating bookshelves, so I've had a lot more space, so there's less like double and triple stacking of books, which is fabulous. Before I get onto the books, I'll just give a brief kind of overview of how things are organised. I split up all of my books into TBR and red shelves. There is a bookshelf outside my room housing a good chunk of my TBR books. A good majority of these are my series books. Unread series, but also sequels to series I have started. I also have a shelf in my closet housing my TBR hardback books. Behind me up the top are the rest of my TBR paperback books. And most of my TBR books are organised by height, but not all of them. It gets a little complicated. And then there is my red books. So the bottom of this shelf behind me has some of my red series. Then there is my main red shelf, which is colour coordinated. Then my floating shelves. One of them is my favourite series, which is just organised to look pretty. My favourite standalones and also single books from series if I didn't absolutely love some of the other books. That is organised by colour as well. And then my last two floating shelves are books that I've read but just have really stunning covers and spines. One thing I also want to let you guys know about is a lot of you are really iffy about my coloured bookshelves, mainly for the fact that books in series are not together and I'm working on that. As I mentioned these are my red books from series. I'm slowly converting this entire shelf into red series. So eventually this shelf will only contain standalone books or single books from series and I haven't read the rest of them. So I I think that's about all you need to know in terms of organization uh, about my bookshelves. So I guess I'll jump straight in and we'll start off with my TBR books. Side note, I just want to apologize in advance as well for any mispronunciations of author or title names and also if I have any series out of order. I'm sure there are tons of mistakes and misplaced books on my shelves so <laughs> I apologize for that. Here is my first shelf and I take up most of the shelf with TBR books, TBR books, TBR books. And then, yeah, down the bottom is Harry Potter and some more of my TBR books. The Replacement by Brenna Yovanoff. Eve and Adam by Michael Grant and Catherine Applegate. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. The Element Encyclopedia of Ghosts and Hauntings. Awaken by Katie Kapvinsky. Eyes Like Stars by Lisa Manchev. Defiance by CJ Redwine. Bleeding Violet by Dia Reeves. Enclave by Anne Aguirre. Cries Cross by Lisa McMahon. Life of Pi by Jan Martel. This Lullaby by Sarah Desson. Mystic City by Theo Lawrence Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee Wicked by Gregory Maguire A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness Supernatural One Year Gone by Rebecca Desitine Tree of Codes by Jonathan Safran Foer Horror Store by Grady Hendrix The Girl from the Tower by Joanna Giangardella Mao's Last Dancer by Lee Sunsin Wars of the Roses Stormbird by Con Igledon Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead What is the What by Dave Eggers The Paladin Prophecy by Mark Frost Sauri by Sue Dhammapala Graveminder by Melissa Samar, House of Leaves by Mark C. Danielewski, The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson, The Peculiar by Stefan Buckman, The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith, Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson, The Final Empire Mistborn Book 1 by Brandon Sanderson, The Way of Kings Part 1 and 2 by Brandon Sanderson, Nightworld Volume 1, Secret Vampire, Daughters of Darkness and Enchantress by L.J. Smith, Out of the Silent Planet and Perilandra by C.S. Lewis, Books 1 and 3 from the Gemma Doyle series, A Great and Terrible Beauty and The Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. Books 1 and 3 from The Steampunk Chronicles, The Girl in the Steel Corset and The Girl with the Iron Touch by Katie Cross. Books 1 and 2 from The Bartimus Trilogy, The Amulet of Samarkand and The Golem's Eye by Jonathan Stroud. Perfect Chemistry and Rules of Attraction by Simone Alcalez. The entire Wicked Lovely series by Melissa Ma with Wicked Lovely, Ink Exchange, Fragile Eternity, Radiant Shadows and Darkest Mercy. The Guardians of Time series by Marianne Curley with The Named, The Dark and The Key. Books 1 and 2 from the Tiger Saga by Colleen Hook. We have Tiger's Curse and Tiger's Quest. Books 1 and 2 in the Monstromologist series, I, I'm not sure, but it's The Monstromologist and The Curse of the Wendigo by Ricky Yancey. Wings, Spells, Illusions and Destined by April Lynn Pike. I believe this is the Wings series, I'm not too sure. Books 1 and 2 in the Dream Hunter duet with Dream Hunter and Dream Quake by Elizabeth Knox. I think I had these backwards order before, but uh, books 2, 3 and 4 from A Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin with A Clash of Kings 
Wings, A Storm of Swords, and A Feast for Crows. Books two and three, I believe, from the Pushing the Limit series by Katie McGarry with Dare You To and Crash Into You. Book three of The Model Instruments, City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. Books two and three of The Study series by Maria V. Snyder with Magic Study and Fire Study. Book two of The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas, Crown of Midnight, and also The Assassin's Blade, the series of five novellas from the same universe. The One by Kira Cass, third book from The Selection series. Books three and four from the Iron Fae series by Julie Kagawa, The Iron Queen, and The Iron Knight. And also The Lost Prince by Julie Kagawa. Pandemonium, second book in the Delirium trilogy by Lauren Oliver. Walking Disaster by Jamie Maguire, sequel, kind of companion thing to Beautiful Disaster. Battle Magic by Tamora Pierce. I believe this is supposed to be part of a series or something. I'm not sure. I had a quick look on Goodreads and it was confusing me, so. Fire by Kristen Cashaw, sequel to Graceling. The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness, second book in the Chaos Walking trilogy. I have The Alchemist here for some strange reason, but I have already read this. But anyway, this is the first book in the Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel series by Michael Scott. I also have the second through to fifth book in that series. I'm not sure if this is the correct order. I believe it might be, but we have The Magician, The Sorceress, The Necromancer, and The Warlock. Shut up, phone. Hollow City by Ransom Riggs, second book in the Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children series. The Unbound by Victoria Schwab, sequel to The Archived. Prodigy and Champion, second and third book of the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu. Combustion by Steve Warland, this is a sequel to Velocity. Books two and three of The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare, we have Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. Through the Evernight by Veronica Rossi, the second book in the Under the Never Sky trilogy. Sweetly by Jackson Pierce, second book in the Fairy Tale Retelling series. And books three and four of the Beautiful Creatures series by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, with Beautiful Chaos and Beautiful Redemption. And now for the last shelf where I have my own books on this shelf. Um, obviously, you can see the Harry Potter series here, but this is uh, family owned, not owned specifically by me. We have books two, three, four, and five from the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. The Selected Works of Edgar Allan Poe, The Complete Spiderwick Chronicles by Tony Ditalizzi and Holly Black, Shakespeare's Works, The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, and The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Now moving on to my TBR hardcover shelf. We have a few books up the front here including The Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, and this is the illustrated edition by Camille Rose Garcia. I also have the stunning Penguin Australian classic editions of Cloud Street by Tim Winton, The Tall Man by Chloe Hooper, the Body Surface by Robert Drew, and A Fortunate Life by A.B. Facey. Moving on to this next row here, I have a few random books uh, in here. First of all is Which Way Dude, Adventure Time, Bemo's Day Out, Fiona and Cake Mad Lips, The Word Lover's Journal, it's the kind of thing you fill out yourself, and this Spanish Disney version of Cinderella. I also have a copy of S by J.J. Abrams and Doug Dorst, and the anthology Rogues by a variety of authors, including but not limited to Gillian Flynn, Neil Gaiman, Patrick Rothfuss, Joe Abercrombie, Connie Willis, Scott Lynch, and George R. R. Martin. Hans Christian Andersen Tales. The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. The Card Turner by Louis Sakar. Sacha. Hmm. The Dragon's Eye by Dugald A. Steer. The Horologicon by Mark Forsyth. Cruel by Jennifer Albin. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Splintered by A.G. Howard. Miss Fortune Cookie by Lauren Bjorkman. The Complete Collection of Oz, Volume 1 by L. Frank Baum. The Treachery of Beautiful Things by Ruth Frances Long. Choker by Elizabeth Woods. Wild Awake by Hilary T. Smith. The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiefvater. Fairest by Gail Carson Levine. The Kingdom of Little Wounds by Susan Cockle, Krokal, Origin by Jessica Curry, The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, The Cavendish Home for Boys and Girls by Claire Legrand. On parade here, um, hippity hoppity, butter, butter. Bright Young Things by Anna Godberson, The Pledge by Kimberly Dirting, Evaneath by Brody Ashton, A Curse Dark as Gold by Elizabeth C. Bunce, Scarlet by A. C. Gorgon, Mr. Penumbra's 24 hour bookstore by Robin Sloan, The Forsaken by Elisa M. Stassi, The Land of Stories, The Wishing Well by Chris Colfer, Department 19 by Will Hill, Wuthering Heights 
by Emily Bronte. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. The Gollum and the Ginny by Helen Wecker. Ghost Stories of M. R. James. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The Diviners by Libba Bray. The Red Queen and the White Queen by Philippa Gregory. Two awfully unmatching books, I don't know what to do about it. The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valenti. Changeling by Philippa Gregory. 1Q84 Book 1 and 2 and also book three by Haruki Murakami. So moving on to my mishmash of TBR and red books, let's start up the top. Breaking Silence by Linda Castillo. Bella Grand by Paulina Simons. The Air Affair by Jasper Ford. Slated by Terry Terry. Whoa, good catch. The Farm by Emily McKay. Myla 2.0 by Deborah Dreza, Split Second by Sophie McKenzie, Everneath by Brodie Ashton, Just One Day by Gail Foreman, Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver, Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy, Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, Level 2 by Lenore Applehans, Half Bad by Sally Green, Paul Delure by Clarice Frere, Insignia by S.J. Kinsade, Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott, The Industry by Rose Foster, The Duff by Cody Keplinger, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne, Every Day by David Levithan, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Platt, The Power of One by Bryce Courtney, The 100 Year Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared by Jonas Jonasson, Intertwined by Gina Showalter, The Snow Child by Eowyn Ivy, The Girl in Times Square by Paulina Simons, Half of a Yellow Sun by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, Saving June by Hannah Harrington, Switched by Amanda Hocking, Unnatural Creatures by Neil Gaiman, All These Things I've Done by Gabrielle Zevin, Elephants on Acid and Other Bizarre Experiments by Alex Bowes, Slide by Jill Hathaway, Icons by Margaret Stoll, The Repossession by Sam Hawksmoor, Horn by Amy Carter, Poison Princess by Cresley Cole, Tree and Leaf by J.R.R. Tolkien, Unraveling by Elizabeth Norris, Glow by Amy Kathleen Ryan, Unearth by Cynthia Hand, The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer, The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon, Tess of the D'Urbervilles by Thomas Hardy, Noggin by John Corey Whaley, Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, Touch of Power by Maria V. Snyder, Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. I promise I'll get rid of all these damn stickers, Still Alice by Lisa Genova, You by Austin Grossman, The Giver by Lois Lowry, World War Z by Max Brooks, The End of Mr. Y by Scarlett Thomas, Aiken by Robin Maraca, Gravity by Melissa West, Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. Moving on to the second shelf, we have the last bit of my TBR books, as well as Finn and Jake. The Dark of the Sun by Wilbur Smith, Life as We Knew It by Susan Beth Pfeffer, The Beautiful and Damned by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov, Little Women by Louisa M. Alcott. I hate this cover, but... <sighs> Ugh. The Little Red Riding Book by Brandon Royal 1984 by George Orwell Bitten by Kelly Armstrong One Second After by William R. Fortune Another copy of Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll Lorna Dune by R.D. Blackmore And two copies of Razorhurst by Justine Labellestiere Both of them assigned, one of them personalised for me The other I will be giving away when I review this these also act as a tripod for my camera when I film. Now begins one of my red shelves, and as you can see, I've got another little owl here. We have City of Bones and City of Ashes, book one and two of the Immortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare, and the entire Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins, with The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. Now moving on to the bottom shelf, continuing on with my red series. As you can see here, I have some lovely mugs in this vase decorative thing i'm not too sure anyway this is where i house all of my bookmarks so maybe one day i'll do a video about all of them because i obviously have a butt ton and these are all my magnetic ones uh yeah there's a redonkulous amount but i just love collecting bookmarks i have the completed shatter me trilogy with shatter me unravel me and ignite me alongside unite me which has the two novellas destroy me and fracture me book one and two of the unbecoming of mara Dyer trilogy with the unbecoming of mara Dyer and the evolution of mara Dyer by michelle hodkin the complete divergent trilogy by veronica roth with divergent insurgent and allegiant the complete fallen series by lauren kate with fallen Torment, Passion, Rupture, and Fallen in Love. The Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer with Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. Saga Volume 1, 2, and 3 by Brian K. Vaughan, and Fables Volume 1 and 2, Legends in Exile, and Animal Farm by Bill Willingham. Now for my beautiful color-coordinated red shelf. Oh, just look at it, look at it, look at it! 
Keep going, keep going. Oh, all the way down the bottom. Let's start up the top with the books behind my Marauders map, Blossom and Snitch. The Book of Lies by James Maloney. Asunder, the second book of the New Soul trilogy by Jodie Meadows. Serafina by Rachel Hartman. Incarceron by Catherine Fisher. Incart, book one of the Incart trilogy by Cornelia Funk. Evernight, book one of the Evernight series by Claudia Gray. Catch 22 by Joseph Heller. Generation Dead, book one of the Generation Dead series by Daniel Waters. Mouse 1 and 2 by Art Spiegelman. The Hogwarts Library, consisting of Quidditch Through the Ages, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and The Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling. Paper Towns by John Green. I apologize for the curtain right here, I can't really get it out of the way. 13 Reasons Why by J. Asher. Firestar, book three of The Last Dragon Chronicles by Chris DeLacy. Impulse by Ellen Hopkins. Peter Pan and Scarlet by Geraldine McCochrane. Girl of Nightmares, the sequel to Anna Dressed in Blood by Ken Dare Blake. Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Eon by Alison Goodman, book one of the Eon duology. The Elite by Kira Cass, book two of the Selection series. Weird Things Customers Say in Bookshops by Jen Campbell. Wonderstruck by Brian Selznick. Ransom by David Malouf. Here we are on shelf number two with Gunter and my Hermione Granger wand, but you want to know about books. So we have One Day by David Nichols. The Red Shoe by Ursula Dubasarsky. The name of this book is Secret by Pseudonymous Bosch. Endgame The Calling by James Frey and Nils Johnson Shelton. Destination Ooh! The Fire Eternal, the fourth book of The Last Dragon Chronicles by Chris DeLacy. The House of Pooh Corner by A.A. A. Milne. The Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. Pookie Alira is Not My Boyfriend by Stephen Herrick. More Weird Things Customers Say in Bookshops by Jen Campbell. The Virgin Suicide went the wrong way. You're meant to fall forward if you want to jump off. The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hosseini. The Near Witch by Victoria Schwab. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. The Princess Bride by William Goldman. The Selected Poetry and Prose of Shelley. I don't really know why that's there actually because I haven't read all of it. I probably read one or two of the works in here for school but I haven't read the whole thing so... Oh, oh well. It looks pretty though. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Emerald Green by Kirsten Gear, the third and final book in the Ruby Red trilogy. The Vanishing Game by Kate K. Myers. The Elements of Eloquence by Mark Forsyth. The Grim Grotto, the 11th book of a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. The Selection, book one from the Selection series by Kira Cass. Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. The Iron King, book one of the Iron Fae series by Julie Kagawa. Snow White by the Brothers Grimm. This is the illustrated edition by Camille Rose Garcia. It's absolutely stunning. The Lightning Thief, book one of the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan. Easy by Tamara Weber. The Iron Trial, book one of the Magisterium series by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks. Now for shelf number three and over here as you can see we have Ice King and these blue Adventure Time sunglasses. Oh yeah! 100 Ghosts by Doogie Horner. Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. The Catastrophic History of You and Me by Jess Rothenberg. Cloud World by David Cunningham. Ice Fire, book two of The Last Dragon Chronicles by Chris DeLacy. The Dead of Night, book two of the Tomorrow series by John Marsden. The Thief Lord by Cornelia Funk. A Million Sons by Beth Revis, book two of the Across the Universe series. Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve. Sapphire Blue by Kirsten Gear, book two of the Ruby Red trilogy. Bloodstorm, book two of the La Mel series by Rhiannon Hart. Moving on, we have LSP, as well as The Death Cure by James Dashner. Fracture by Megan Marie. Miranda, Know and Me by Delphine de Vigan, Piratica by Tanith Lee, Ink Spell, book two of the Ink Heart trilogy by Cornelia Funk, Stardust by Neil Gaiman, The Year of the Rat by Claire Furness, Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi, Wither by Lauren Stefano, Wake by Lisa McMahon, Elixir by Hilary Duff, Hourglass by Myra McIntyre, Magic by Angie Sage. Here we are at the fourth shelf with PB. We have Partials by Dan Wells, the anthology Prom Nights from Hell by Meg Cabot, Stephanie Meyer, Kim Harrison, Michelle Jaffe, and Lauren Miracle. Stargazer by Claudia Gray, the sequel to Evernight. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. This is the only book from the Bloomsbury UK paperback editions that I bought for myself. My family obviously have like multiple copies of all the other books but this is the one that I bought myself because it had stars on it and I liked the look of the stars so I had to buy it. The Iron Daughter, second book of the Iron Face series by Julie Kagawa. Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead, third book in the Vampire Academy series. The Fire Within 
first book in The Last Dragon Chronicles by Chris DeLacy, Nightshade by Andrea Kramer, TTYL by Lauren Miracle, The Lux by Anna Godberson, The Scorch Trials by James Dashner, second book in the Maze Runner trilogy, Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood, Graceling by Kristen Kishore. Moving on we have one of my favourite little owls, this edition of The Great Gatsby and The Last Tycoon by F. Scott Fitzgerald, another copy of The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, Animal Farm and 1984 by George Orwell, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time by Mark Haddon, The Land of Elyon series with the exception of one of the books we have the prequel Into the Mist and books 1, 2 and 3 The Dark Hills Divide, Beyond the Valley of Thorns and The Tenth City all by Patrick Carmen, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan, Speak by Laurie Hall Sanderson, Madigan's Quest by Margaret Mackey, Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, Damned by Chuck Palahniuk and The Wayward Tide by Alison McClay. Shelf number five is inhabited by Fiona and Cake but also we have The Furies of Calderborn by Jim Butcher sitting here. When I read books throughout the month I pop them on my shelf like so. Um, it's just so it's easier for me to just makes things easier for me at the end of the month when it comes to doing my wrap up and things like that and it's always nice seeing a sizable pile when I read quite a lot. Obviously I haven't read much at all so far this month uh, but that's okay. We have Blood Red Road by Moira Young, Roverandom by J.R.R. Tolkien, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, the graphic novel The Homeland Directive by Robert Venditti, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess, Stolen by Lucy Christopher, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas, and Ink and Rain, the first two books in the Paper God series by Amanda Sun. Moving on, we have my favourite Olaf and also a flask of Polyjuice Potion. Shh, don't tell Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, The Railway Children by E.E. E. Nesbitt, Shiver by Maggie Stevarder, Fire Eaters by David Armand, Between Shades of Grey by Ruda Sepetis, What's Left of Me by Kat Zhang, Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wayne, Afterlife, the fourth book in the Evernight series by Claudia Gray. I did have the third book, Hourglass, but somehow it seems to have gotten misplaced. I have no idea how. I never lent it to anybody, but one day it just disappeared, so yeah. And Legend by Marie. Lou. Here we are at the second to last shelf on my big red shelf. Another owl, of course. Anna Dressed in Blood by Ken Dare Blake. Forgotten by Cat Patrick. Iona by Alison Goodman, second and last book from the Eon duology. The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick. Velveteen by Daniel Marks. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. The Spook's Apprentice by Joseph Delaney. Beautiful Disaster by Jamie Maguire. Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter. Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. Blood Song by Rhiannon Hart. First book in the La Mel series. Dangerous by Shannon Hale. Continuing on, we have my vampire section with Marceline keeping watch. I also have the second, fourth, fifth, and sixth books in the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. There's Frostbite. Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and Last Sacrifice. Uh, the third book, the, sh the third book, Shadow Kiss, is a different edition, and I don't own Vampire Academy because I borrowed it. So someday I will remedy that. Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler, The Twist Rose Key by Tona Amiel, Death Note Volume One by Tsugumi Oba, Crash and Burn by Michael Hassan, Dirty Magic by Carol Hughes, The Book Thief by Micah Souza, Peter Pan by J M Barry, and But I Love Him by Amanda Grace. Now. Now for the final shelf. Room by Emma Donoghue. 172 Hours on the Moon by Johanna Harstad. The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Nefenega. Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. The first book in the fairy tale retelling series. Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder. The Messenger by Marcus Suzak. The Goddess Test by Amy Carter. Looking for Alaska by John Green. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Dracula by Bram Stoker. Unwind by Neil Schusterman. Marked by PC and Kristen Cost. Drink Slay Love by Sarah Beth Dirk. The We Free Men by Terry Pratchett. Crank by Ellen Hopkins. Kiss of Life by Daniel Waters, sequel to Generation Dead. Far From the War by Jeffrey David Payne. Kathy's Book. Books 1 and 2 of the Beautiful Creatures series. We have Beautiful Creatures and Beautiful Darkness by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And I also have a copy of the graphic novel, Beautiful Creatures the Manga. I also have this arc of We Will Eyes by E. Lockhart. Here we have my bedside table, which houses my currently read books and and some of my TBR books. This pile here is what I'm currently reading. Ink Death by Cornelia Funk, the third and final book from the Ink Heart trilogy and I believe I started reading this about a year ago. I still haven't read any more of it. 
shame on me, I know. The Whispers of the Fallen by J.D. Netto, and the Fairy Tales from the Brothers Grimm. And now for the TBR books that I really should read soon, An Ark of All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven, and this one came out at the beginning of January, so I'm a little late with this one, I'm sorry. The Bookshop Book by Jen Campbell, which she kindly sent my way, and this one was released late last year, Rebellion by J.D. Netto, the sequel to The Whispers of the Fallen, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. At the beginning of last year, I started rereading the entire series. I got up to the sixth one. I still need to reread the seventh. Here we have one of my favorites shelves, which you see behind me in pretty much all of my videos. These two here house some of my favorite books, and this one is where I put books that I bought throughout the month and intend to Hall. The Lover's Dictionary by David Leverthon. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. The Adventure Time Encyclopedia by Martin Olsen. Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry. The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. And it's signed. Incarnate by Jodie Meadows, book one of the New Soul trilogy. And from the bottom is Winnie the Pooh. First of all, I just want to point out my awesome little book owl right here. Look at it. Isn't he cute? He's sitting on a book. I saw it and I had to get it. Anyway, Wonder by RJ Palacio. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alira Sons. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Living Dead Girl by Elizabeth. With Scott, The Host by Stephanie Meyer, and The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. Here is my second favorite shelf, which houses my favorite series, or at least series where the majority of the books are absolutely outstanding. This first slot is the Song of the Lioness Quartet by Tamora Pierce, the first of which is Alana the First Adventure, then we have In the Hand of the Goddess, The Girl Who Rides Like a Man, and Lioness Rampant. The first two books of the King Killer Chronicles, we have The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss, The Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. The first three books of the Lunar Chronicles, we have Cinder, Scarlet and Cress. This Shattered World and These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. The Assassin's Curse and The Pirate's Wish, the duology by Cassandra Rose Clark. And finally, the Bronze Horseman trilogy by Paulina Simons. There's the Bronze Horseman, the Bridge to Holy Cross, also known as Tatiana and Alexander, and the Summer Garden. And these are my floating bookshelves. And below there we have some books I need to unhaul. Below all of my unhaul books are the page to screen and Harry Potter box set of the US hardcovers. I'm not going to take it out and show you all because, ah, but there's that. Infinite by Jodie Meadows, book three of the New Soul trilogy. Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear, book one of the Ruby Red trilogy. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, book one of the Chaos Walking trilogy. The Archived by Victoria Schwab, book one of the Archived trilogy, I believe, not entirely sure. And Across the Universe by Beth Revis, book one of the Across the Universe trilogy. A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, More Than This by Patrick Ness, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, and Circle of Blood by David Mac, book one from the Kabuki series. So that is my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, and I think that is about it. It's probably going to be another year again before I do a bookshelf tour because it takes absolutely forever to do this, but I hope this is satisfying enough. <laughs> but I do look forward to doing another tour at the beginning of 2016 to see where books that I've purchased and read throughout 2015 end up on my shelves, and if I end up reorganizing anything, who knows? Things might look drastically different or maybe just a little bit. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> but yes, I think that's all that I have for today. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!